Firefighters in New Orleans are bringing in more pumps to help contain that wildfire out in the east. A former state legislator and New Orleans East resident says it's going to take more help to contain it, though. WGN's Jordan Lippincott joins us from the affected area. Kurt, Brittany, we're standing not too far from the corner of Chefman Tour Highway and Industrial Parkway, and you see this greenery behind me. Well, behind that is a gravel road, and that road will take you to those underground fires. That's where I met up with former state representative Austin Badon to talk about what's being done. Because as you see, it looks like a, a, a foreign planet, a, a movie scape. Former state representative Austin Badon, who lives in New Orleans East, is describing the area where he once hunted, smoldering patches of dirt and blackened vegetation. We're literally standing on top of an active fire as we speak. It did jump on us about two nights ago. Fortunately, it seems like it was contained. There is a natural gas pipeline that's pretty close, but, uh, you know, we're trying to do whatever we can to extinguish this. Badon is spending much of his time helping coordinate mitigation efforts. We have personal pumps that's out here, but fortunately we have uh, help from the Corps of Engineers and the Sewage and Water Board that have just brought about five massive pumps out here to start trying to drown this fire and douse it. A spokesman for the New Orleans Fire Department reported that air dropping water may be ineffective. However, Badon says anything would help. But we really could use some air power and some help from the air to basically, you know, use some buckets and drop some water or fire retardant material onto this fire. The Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry also assisted by using their equipment to dig trenches to help water flow. Crews are also banking on a little help from Mother Nature. Well, with some rain at the end of this week, uh, hopefully that would help. You know, we, we see a light at the end of the tunnel and the glass is half full. There is no timeline for extinguishment. However, crews will be back out here tomorrow morning. Kurt, Brittany. All right. Thank you for the update, Jordan.